happy Monday. Maya Paveza here for Ari Technology, also known as Maya Ari Guru. All right, we're continuing with our how, what, why, what, how, whys of real estate and purchasing and dealing with your clients. So the why is a little bit easier than the other parts because essentially we want to establish what the client's um, motivation is. Um, it's easier when they're buying than it is when they're selling sometimes because they want a place to live. But with sellers, motivation becomes even more important because if they don't have proper motivation, chances are they're really not going to be willing to price properly and sell. And you're going to spend a lot of time hand-holding and working with them. So establishing motivation by asking probing questions, what is their reason for selling, looking at what their cash position is, and also just discussing the process with them will help and also hopefully make it a much easier process for you as a listing agent. Now with buyers, you know, a lot of people go into it where I want a house. Okay, why? And making sure that they have a good understanding, especially first time buyers, of what's involved in home ownership. Maintenance costs, systems, and, and part of that process is probably establishing a good relationship with a home inspector or multiple home inspectors. Um, offering first time buyer home education classes, teaching them about the systems and understanding what the major systems are, the roof, the electric, the plumbing, heating and cooling, structure, things like that, and understanding that the aesthetics, the carpeting, the countertops, things like that can easily be changed or modified. So, you know, part of motivation is then also setting the expectation. Um, a lot of people just want to go in there turnkey, ready to go, they're going to pay a premium. If they find something that maybe has kind of languished on the market and become stigmatized and sitting there a little bit longer because maybe it has shag carpet from the 70s or maybe the paint colors are horrible or maybe it has wallpaper. All of these things can easily be overcome and they can really get a great deal. I recently had a client purchase a house for 200000 in a neighborhood where most of the properties were going closer to two seventy-five dollars to 300000 And they were walking into essentially $50,000 in equity because the house had been on the market for an extremely long time. It was dated and in need of some updates and they got a great deal. So part of the educational process in understanding the why is explaining to your clients how they can benefit from market conditions or properties that have been sitting there for too long because the first question that every buyer asks is, why has it been on the market this long? Or how many days on the market? What's wrong with it? Sometimes the answer is the right buyer just hasn't come along. And then as far as sellers go, seeking motivation is important. You don't want to just have a sign in the yard that doesn't really do you any good. Um, you know, yeah, it's great to get sign calls, it's great to get buyer leads, but the reality is your job is to service the client and get their property sold. But if their motivation isn't right, if they don't want to price accordingly and appropriately for the market, you know what? I'd rather be the second or third agent, and you should too, because the first person's going to take all the blame when in reality, sometimes it's the agent's inability to stand up to the client because we're the experts. Yes, they know their own home. Yes, they love their home. Notice, their home. They have to disconnect. It's not their home if they're selling it. They're selling a house. It is a business transaction, and that emotional aspect is a really difficult one to remove. And the same thing on buyers. You have that emotional aspect where people start assigning personalities, assuming that, you know, because it's this, this separation with the agents in between. So something that comes through an agent may not be the real message. So think of the telephone game. Sometimes it's better off to just get the buyer and seller together in the same room with the agents and just work it all out. One of my clients prefers to do it that way. He fixes and flips property. The one time he didn't do it, well, we had a lot of problems. And he just closed last week, so he's happy, and he met with the buyers before they wrote the offer. Everybody felt warm and fuzzy and good about each other, and it really made for a much easier transaction. So understanding the whys for your buyers or your sellers is essential for success after you've gone through the what and the how of real estate. So take it back to the basics. SEO is great, online marketing, interactions, all these places that we're working to get business is great, but if you don't know how to service the people and provide good or excellent, extraordinary customer service, you won't have any success. So basics first and always. 
work on them and make sure you know you're the expert stay up on the latest trends and stay up on the market conditions and share that information with your clients so hopefully everybody will understand that one the why is the easiest part I think so I'm Maya Paveza now also a broker associate in the state of Delaware I got my broker's license which actually means something here because it's like five years and all these other things and 99 course hours it's not like I can just get my license and do it the next day so I'm kind of psyched so have a great day Mondays with Maya I'll see you next week